Okay, so Kevin is saying, type questions here, folks. Okay, so while people are typing, why don't we go over to, uh, to Dave and see if he wants to do that charging uh, test with the bucket of water. Dave, are you there? Did you get any water? Yeah, I'm getting water now, Jeremy. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a level two charger, 220 volts at about 32 amps. I'm gonna dump it in a bucket of water and I'm gonna plug it into a vehicle. So what I want to show is that even when you're washing your car, the connection for the vehicle uh, with your charger is not an issue, especially in the rain. People think that they have to park their car inside uh, a garage in order to charge it. They're thinking electric uh, extension cords and the hazards around it. Uh, one thing I do tell a lot of, especially technicians, but even owners of vehicles, you have to know what you're doing to hurt yourself with one of these vehicles. Uh, they're so redundant the safety systems on them. Uh, we just talked a little bit about the safety of the vehicle for rollover and of course all the other safety systems on the vehicle, but the electrical system is even scrutinized further by the NH NHTSA as well as the manufacturers, SAE, these are all organizations that ensure the safety of the vehicle is above par. And so they really make sure that these vehicles are super safe. And uh, I, once again, we're gonna say it's probably something we don't recommend uh, doing at home, but I just wanna show you how this actually can work. So what I do is I'm gonna open up the charge port door on this car. This is uh, a level one, it also has a CCS adapter. I'm not going into the DCFC charger, which is the fast charge Jeremy's been talking about. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna plug in a level two charger uh, after getting it wet. So I'm just gonna grab my charge cord here. And this is a live charge. So I'm gonna plug it into the car as a regular car. So it's actually indicating it's charging right now. So what I wanna do is show you that even with the charger on itself, I just disconnected, I can dump it in. I'm gonna wait for, uh, I said, here's the end. It's actually a live circuit. I'm gonna dump it in the bucket of water. There it is there, soaking wet. I'm gonna shake it out, obviously. I'm touching it. There's no power at all in this end. So one thing about this, this box or this connector here has absolutely no power to the box up front. Until I plug it in, there's communication devices. When I plug it into the car, what it will do is it will, now it looks at the system, communicates the charge box, turns the charge box on, and it's charging right now. So in fact, even while it's charging, I can take water and dump it over it. It's sealed, so there's a seal in there. So if you get snow in the end of it, if you get ice in the end of it, if it gets wet while it's raining, there's no issues with safety. Back to you, Jeremy. I love it. I love it. Only Dave can do that confidently, uh, with so much confidence. It's uh, it's really good to know that information. So you don't have to be worried about going through drive-throughs or car washes. We hear those questions sometimes. And you know, is it safe to be charging the car? It's really uh, it's really um, comforting to hear you say that, Dave. So that's great. Thanks for for sharing that.